Honduras is home to one of my favorite islands in the world, Utila. Utila is well known for its amazing diving. Not only does it have the second largest barrier reef in the world, but it's also one of the cheapest places to go diving. On top of that, it has warm waters, beautiful views, friendly locals, traditional Honduran food, and so many fun activities. Over two separate trips, I've spent a total of four months in Utila, falling in love with island life, learning to scuba dive, learning to free dive, and making friends for life. This video begins as I arrived in Utila for the second time, and I'll be going on a fun dive with Paradise Divers, which is where I learned to dive a few years ago. After that, I'll be showing you what everyday life is like in Utila. I have a lot of content from Utila to share with you over the next few weeks, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these fun adventures. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I am solo backpacking. Oh. I am solo backpacking in Central America and I am now in Utila again. I'm so excited to be here, finally. Um, I've actually been here for two nights now. Um, and I haven't done any diving yet, so I am heading over to Paradise Divers now, which is where I did my dive master and everything like a year and a half ago. You may have seen the video on my channel already, but um, I'm going back and I'm diving with them again and like loads of my friends are here, so it's really nice um, to be back, but I'm so excited to finally go diving. <laughs> so it's time to descend on the first dive of the trip. This is my friend Noah, he was working as a dive master at Paradise Divers. This is a parrotfish. This is my favourite fish, a fairy basslet. I have absolutely no idea what I was trying to say here. Here is a rainbow parrot fish. And of course some more fairy basslets and here I'm getting excited because I've already seen lots of fairy basslets. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the name of this fish, but they're so cute. This is an angelfish. I believe it's a queen angelfish, maybe? And we are coming up from our first dive. Okay, so now for dive number two. Let's go diving! Here is another rainbow parrotfish. This is a French angelfish. They always swim around in pairs, which is so cute. And this is either a cowfish or a boxfish, I actually can't tell. And here is a photo of me and Josh, the owner of Paradise Divers. So this dog is always around at Paradise Divers and apparently likes to chase people in the water and I found it funny. Don't worry, he wasn't being aggressive, it was more playful. And I finished off the day with a beautiful Utila sunset. Hi guys, so I'm just editing this video and I just really quickly wanted to say that I am so bad at vlogging in Utila. I think it's because it just feels like whenever I go to Utila I'm sort of settled there so it feels sort of like a home rather than I'm traveling. I think it's because when I'm in Utila I'm just sort of spending a lot of time with friends or doing things that just wouldn't be interesting for a vlog like having movie nights with my friends or just catching up with them, editing videos, teaching English online, working as a dive master. That's probably kind of interesting for a vlog and I do have a separate vlog on that. I just feel awkward vlogging in Utila for whatever reason. I think it's maybe as well because I know so many people around the island and 
it just feels weird so I don't tend to vlog when I'm in Utila but for the rest of this video it's going to be sort of a diary of my time in Utila. I stayed in Utila for a total of two months and I did vlog a lot in the last two weeks when my friend Cassie came to stay so there will be some normal style vlogs to come from my time in Utila including me learning to free dive which I am so excited to edit but this video is going to be sort of a diary showing you everything that I did in Utila, sort of my daily life in Utila up until Cassie arrived and then that's when this video is going to end because I took a lot of videos with Cassie so they're going to be in separate vlogs as well as my next video which is also going to be a day in the life of a dive master so other than the last two weeks and the day in the life of a dive master everything else that I did in Utila for those first I guess six weeks is going to be in this vlog so enjoy seeing what it's like to live and work in Utila so rewinding back to my first day in Utila the first thing I did once I dropped my bag in my new apartment was going and find my best friend Kelsey at Utila Lodge where she worked I caught up with her and then later in the evening headed over to Paradise Divers to catch up with my old dive family including Noah and Josh who you already saw from the dive. I enjoyed many breakfasts at Josie's, my favourite brunch spot on the island. I went over to Utila Lodge a lot for sunset and this particular day they had salsa which Kelsey's friend Marcos had arranged. He's from Colombia so is very passionate about sharing the salsa culture which of course having just been to Cali, Colombia I was completely down for. So while I was in Utila I worked as a dive master. Not as much as I'd originally planned but I decided to do it freelancing between a few different dive shops. Underwater Vision, Captain Morgan's and I did lead one dive at Paradise Divers too. And here is my friend slash roommate Ashley who has been in Utila since we did our dive master together in 2021. On this night we went to ladies night at Vinyl and then over to the bar next Paradise Divers for a snorkel test, which if you don't know is what you do at the end of your dive master training as a sort of graduation. After that we headed back over to ladies night for the party. So I actually went over to Waterkey one day with Huffies which is a lovely little beach club in Utila to do a photo shoot with them. So when we arrived they set up a table with food and drinks for us, gave us some cocktails and then we had our little photo shoot. And here is how some of the photos turned out. Another thing I did when I was in Utila was visit Neptune's beach with my friend Ashley. If you go to Neptune's you have to try the cauliflower wings, they are so good. Meet the lovely dog, Honey, who loves to go swimming in the sea. So now I'm about to go on a night dive with underwater vision. So first things first, we have to set up the boat, get the tanks and all the equipment on the boat, have a quick snack, do the briefing, and then head out at sunset. So honestly, we didn't see a ton of things on this night dive. To be honest, most of the videos I got were coral or very tiny fish. Here's a little starfish. We did manage to see a stingray, which is always a fun time. And then to finish off the dive, we saw a grouper, which is cool, but my camera really struggled to pick it up as we don't want to shine the torches directly at the fish, so we don't hurt our eyes. And this is how dark it was when we came up from the night dive. So after the night dive I headed to Paradise Divers as some of their dive masters in training were graduating and doing their snorkel tests. 
So they have to do random things like acting out a briefing while dancing, trying to catch beer in their mouths that's being sprayed at them from a tank. And I didn't film their actual snorkel test, but if you're curious, here's a video of me doing mine back in 2021. You're literally just drinking as quickly as you can from a snorkel. <laughs> After the snorkel test, I headed out to La Cueva and then to Tranquila with some friends. Here are some time lapses of how I spent a lot of my days in Utila editing videos and teaching English online. This was another snorkel test, but this time with Captain Morgans. And then I came to the beach bar next to Paradise Sivers with my friend Ashley for some brunch one day, which was actually really nice. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of this bar and I can't find it on Google Maps, but it's just right next door to Paradise Sivers. We then headed over to Bando Beach to chill at the beach, catch some sun and swim. This is Huffy's. I spent a lot of time just chilling here. It was always very quiet and hopefully they're getting a lot more business now and it's busier because I always loved it here and I never understood why it was so quiet. I definitely recommend heading over to Huffy's if you're in Utila. This is Honey again. Honey is actually TikTok slash Instagram famous. Someone made a video of her running with people and jumping off the dock with them and it went viral. So anyway, back to underwater vision for some more diving. On this particular dive, we saw a monster of a moray eel. He was huge. I was leading this dive, so I didn't bring my camera when I was working. So this was actually filmed by my friend Gil. And I finished off the night watching sunset at underwater vision. So while I was in Utila, some friends I met traveling came over to Utila on my recommendation and I met up with them. So here is Motus, you might remember him from my El Salvador vlogs, and here is Nir who was in one of my vlogs from Costa Rica. These were some days from when I was working with Captain Morgans. Of course, the days often ended watching the sunset from one of the dive shops. While I was in Utila, one of Ashley's friends went on a two week trip. So me and Ashley had her dog Ziggy for two weeks. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, I fell in love with this dog. We became such good friends that he didn't even let me pee on my own. <laughs> We had a lot of fun playing together in the apartment, going out for nice walks. Actually, one of my favorite memories from the trip was about a week after Ziggy had gone home and I went with my friend Cassie to Underwater Vision and Ziggy was there and he ran up to me and he got so excited and then we both got the zoomies and chased each other around the beach for ages. Cassie got some lovely photos just after this moment and honestly, they're some of my favorite photos. If you haven't guessed it already, I am such a dog person, so having two dogs stay with us while I was living in Utila was actually so nice. This is the other dog that stayed with us, and her name is Suki. She was such a big sweetheart. So that's it for this video of my time in Utila. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the coming vlogs from Utila, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!